Hello everyone, my name is Tonko and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to mess about with villages in Minecraft Bedrock Edition because these geezers can be extremely hard to deal with so, that's why, so that is why I am making this video. To start off you will need to get what we will need and I'm just going to be using stone bricks everything for this tutorial. So stone brick, blocks, slabs and stairs. What you'll also need is some torches to light up the place. You need to get yourself some trapdoors. Has to be trapdoors, it cannot be anything else. It can be iron trapdoors though. There's no carpet, it has to be trapdoors. Then you need to get yourself a work in table of your choice. I'm just going to be using lectins for all of these. You also need to grab yourself some beds. So what you want to come over do and place two lectins down and place some trapdoors on top of them like so. Place a third trapdoor in the middle of those. Then build a little box like so and place two more beds behind those lectins. Then place a two high wall of blocks doing all around these like so. Then come up another block and another block. Um, this is going to be your roof, just cover this in whatever blocks you want. And then add some torches in here so no zombies attack your villagers. Like so. Then what you want to go and do is come out two more blocks from here. This is for, this is going to be the trading section of this villager reader. So you want to start off by placing two blocks there, both with trapdoors on them. This is going to be your entrance into the place. This stops zombies from being able to get in. Then what you want to come and do is come out four blocks and place beds on the last two and also create a little cage around those beds going four high like so. Place the roof on top of there. Do the same with the other side. You can have as many of these as possible. I'm just going to be building a couple for this video but you can have an infinite amount of them if you wish. Now what you want to do is go ahead and get yourself two villagers in the left pen here. I'm going to be using zombie villagers because that is the easiest source I have found on my own survival. So if I were to get some zombie villagers, spawn them in here. Normally what you would have to do is go out whilst it is dark and lead these guys into this pit. Then what you want to do is go get yourself a splash potion of weakness and two garden apples you're going to be using them to cure these geezers. So to do that I'm going to be showing you how to make these weakness potions. So you need to grab yourself three glass bottles, one bucket of water to fill these, you need to get yourself some fermented spider eye. You can make this by using brown mushroom, spider eye and sugar. Get yourself some gunpowder as well and also nether warts. So this is all you will need. So the first thing you should do is fill up these glass bottles with water and place them in the brewing stand. Add your nether warts and you will also need one piece of blaze powder to power the brewing station. So grab yourself that. So plunk your blaze powder in there like so. Now whilst this is brewing, you'll need to get yourself two golden apples to cure both of these villagers. Once you've once you've cured these two, you'll never have to cure any villagers again. Because what we're going to do is just carry on to free these two geezers over here. So now you have potions of awkwardness you need to add your fermented spider right like so and wait for this to be brewed down after this you'll need to add your gunpowder that will turn it into a splash potion of weakness at the moment all this is turning it into it's just a normal potion of weakness so let's just wait for this to brew like so now add your gunpowder 
After this, you will now know how to make splash potions and weaknesses. What you want to do as well, I'm just going to extend some of these villager pods like so. Once again, you can add as many of these as you want. Like so. This also farms iron golems, but you have to kill them manually. So it's like a really, really bad iron farm at the same time. But I guess it's useful to protect these geezers. Otherwise, yeah, you might be getting some more zombie villages, which is a massive pain. So just keep an eye out for these guys in case they do somehow manage to get um, turned into zombie villages. Okay, so now we have our splash version of weakness. What you'll need to do is hit these geezers like so. And then give them both a golden apple. Now these two will start turning into zombie villages. Just normal villagers anytime soon. And what should happen as soon as they turn into normal villagers. They should link into both of those lecterns and both of those beds. Get yourself as many collectors and as many treadballs as you need. So as a single pen is one lectern and one trapdoor. So say you had five pens, you need five lectins and one trapdoor. So just get yourself as many of those as you need. This is just a long process of waiting for these geezers to turn into normal villages. At this moment what you could be doing is changing the floor, but I have not been able to do that. And you, you do not have to do this. You can make these out of any blocks. This does not have to be stone blocks. I've just chosen this for aesthetic reasons. Make sure to cover the ceiling as well. For when you are tram transporting the villager, zombie villagers over here. Make sure it is in night time. Or you have a nice secure path with a roof on top of it. So that they do not burn. So I've been waiting a while. And finally these geezers have turned into normal villagers. So what you want to do is grab yourself some potatoes, carrots or bread and give these geezers them. But first down, place down all of your beds. So if I were to place all of these potatoes down, after a while these geezers should start to breed. As you can see we can always, we can already see love hearts, which is a good sign. If this is not working, then if it is a farmer, I will just collect the potatoes so all you have to do is just change the trade for the time being make sure not to set the trade or trade with them before you try to change the trade that will never work they will never be able to change trade again also try doing this when it is night time because then you will know when all of these baby villagers they'll just go straight into their beds so now what you want to do is trap yourself trap this baby villager like so by placing a lectern and a trapdoor on top of that so when that baby villager grows up it will become an adult and straight away <coughs> connect to that lectern oh. but for now I'm just going to place a block there and then just spawn a normal villager in so now what you want to, if you do not want that trade you can destroy it place it again wait for him to connect to it again and let's say I really want efficiency 5 so what you'll have to do is grab yourself some paper and trade with this guy this will lock in its trade which means you'll never be able to get a new trade or a new profession from this geezer it'll always be a librarian so if I have to just search up paper here and get myself enough paper that's, no, that's sugar cane I need paper so get yourself some paper, not sugar cane, however you can use sugar cane. We can turn sugar cane into paper. If you need a zero take sugar cane from, I have one on my channel. Then one baby villager, you'll have to just replace that lectern with a block. Otherwise what will happen is they will connect to the wrong lectern, ruining everything. Just make sure that there's only one baby villager that has that has a lectern in front of it. Now that is all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check my go, go check out my other videos and make sure to subscribe and also like the video if you can. That's all from me and I'll see you later.